No, I make it eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred? Yeah. You bought from just about all of us. I can't cover that. You are in so much trouble, you can't possibly concentrate on the work you have to do with us. Us? Not that's all you care about, isn't it? What I can do for you. Anderson, that's not what he meant. Well, you just lost yourself one because I've had it. I quit. Anderson, we needed you tonight. I'm sorry. It's easy enough for you I to said, say. I said I'm sorry. Since we did all Get the work. back! The study of law is something new and unfamiliar to most of you. Unlike any other schooling that you have ever known before. First years are hard years, much more than we know. With good friends to love us, we'll feel every blow. Stay open to all things, unknown and new. yourselves the law, but I train your minds. You come in here with a skull full of mush, and if you survive, you leave thinking like a lawyer. Anderson, I need my notes. He's working. I'll see you seven and raise you five. Two eye for me. I'm out. I'll just call. <clears throat> There's my ace. Ace is an eight. Dead man's hand. Anderson, you're Mr. Lucky. Well, yeah, luck at that. Next week, same time, same place? No. They've changed our schedule. They're rotating us. Looks like you're going to have to go to work somewhere else. Gentlemen, thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> Call me any time you need a new stethoscope, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <We'll do. laughs> Take it easy, man. All right. What? <laughs> Anderson, how'd you do at the game last night? Terrific. The game folded. I have to find a new one. You seem pretty confident. You always win. I just don't lose very often. <laughs> what is your secret? Well, you figure the odds, and you stick to your schedule. Win, lose, or draw. Hi, Liz. Hi, Chris. Very pretty. Mm. Who is she? Chris Carlisle. But she's out of your class, Anderson. She's a 3L. Yeah, where does she live? In? The Hamilton Society. With all those guys? Yeah, it's like a resident club for 3L. Well, technically speaking, I live with you two, don't I? <laughs> Technically speaking. Listen, do you think you can introduce me to her? Now, since when do you need an introduction to a woman? Now, this is true, but <laughs> a special case. Now, the case of Montag versus the Illinois Central Railroad. A matter of implicit commitment. The verdict... And on what three grounds was it overturned on appeal? Mr. Anderson. I didn't get to study that one, sir. Indeed. The use of the specific preposition infers that you did study the other cases. Yes, sir, I did indeed. I asked for this particular analysis. So I took a chance. Uh, a chance, sir. Huh? To be perfectly frank, sir, I believed that I knew which cases you were more likely to question us on. And I concentrated on those. So to put it plainly, you gambled, Mr. Anderson. You gambled on being able to anticipate me and my thoughts. Very dangerous approach in a classroom 
or a quadro. So in this case, to the loser go the spoils. The next 15 cases in this chapter, Mr. Anderson, analyze and report tomorrow. Tom Anderson. Logan said she told you all about me. Handsome, brilliant, and witty. <laughs> and you're here to prove it. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I'm here to take you out for a cup of coffee and overwhelm you with my charm. Well, that's very nice of you, but my resistance is low tonight. I don't think I could stand so much wit and brilliance. Well, this being our first night together, I'll go real easy on you. I'll just take you to Ernie's for a little while. <laughs> no, really, I've got a lot of work to do. I thought when you got to be a 3L, the work was... No, it's just as much, maybe more. Very discouraging. Try me again. Next time I'll be more cooperative. I promise. That'll hold up in court, you know. Absolutely. Good night. Good night. Hmm. What are you, quitting already? Cap City. All right. All right, all right. Who's winning? Where's my hand? Fill me in. Get your hand when you get your hand in. Come on. Come on. Play, get your play card. Go. Annie. Okay, big jack. Uh, Trey, queen, jack, jack, seven. Jack. Okay, yeah. Can I help you? Private game or take anybody's money? Who's anybody? Uh, Tom Anderson, law school, 1L. Ooh, well, in that case, we don't have much to worry about, do we? <laughs> McKinnon? Johansson, Baker, Farley, Redding. Hey, right. Sit down. Okay, that's right. Two, uh, no, just queen. one thing. Jet. I got to put it exactly 1045. Plenty of time. Queen bet. Uh, five bucks. <laughs> All right, you guys, last chance for refills. Anybody? Not me. I pass. What do you mean, last chance? You're not running out of beer, are you? No, you're running out of time. We scheduled a study session at 11, remember? Yeah, I remember. I hope Anderson does. Well, Kingsfield's on the warpath. And if anyone blows it in class tomorrow, they're going to be in trouble. We have to cover every detail tonight. What about Anderson? He knows about it, doesn't he? Yeah, he knows. I caught him just as he was leaving the dorm. Well, where is he? We're going to need his notes. I wish I knew. Two cars. I'm good. How about you, Anderson? One. One. We walked into that one, didn't we? Dealer takes two. Farley, open her bets. Got to check to the to the pound of hand. How about it, Anderson? Cards are getting cold. Okay, okay. What are you gonna do? Check. Check. Well, I guess the pound hand has to bet $25. That's too rich for my blood. I'm full. By the way, Anderson, it's 10.45. Yeah, I know, but this is the last time. Then let's make it a good one. All right. Call you 25. There's your 25 more. And I fool. I admire a man with courage. See you 25. Above Pretty proud of that flush, huh? Okay, I'll call your 50. And I'll. Is it okay if I play light? Mm hmm. Sure. Raise your 50. Lots of pressure. There's a summary on torts, McKinnon. Well, I'll just put it over there. Don't try to understand it, just memorize it. Well, I like the way you play cards, Anderson. See you 50, bumpy 50. I 
just have to call that 50 and raise you another 50. Okay. I'll call. A full boat. Aces over four. Four tens. Woo! Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, that means uh, 150 lighting. <clears throat> Give me a new stack. I had to leave at 1045. Don't worry about it. Okay, put the man down for another 250. Who's deal? Right here. Cut him, Baker. Come in. in. Draw a poker, gentlemen. Jacks are better. Decisions, decisions. What's it gonna be? Come on, Anderson. Next to you. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I'm in. Let's see here. Well, I don't like to kick a man when he's down. I'll call. Kings over queens. Beats me. <laughs> me too. Sorry. Three fives. Want another sack, Anderson? No, I don't think so. That's it for me. Sorry, we don't usually treat our guests so badly the first time. It's always another time, right? Uh, I make it $800. $800? Yeah. You bought from just about all of us. Of course, I didn't realize. So I can't cover that. Well, we'll take your check. I didn't bring my checkbook. There's a man with confidence. Oh, don't worry, it happens all the time. But we're prepared. This is a counter check. You just fill in the name of your bank and sign it. The way we work it, we hold all checks to the end of the week, and whatever isn't redeemed gets cashed. That way everybody has a chance to win their checks back. Nice idea. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Come on back again, Anderson. Hey, I might be back tomorrow. All right. Take care. So long. Okay, okay. okay. who's the deal? Who's the deal? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I just wanted to say goodnight. Oh, well, is the game over? As far as I'm concerned. You don't look exactly triumphant. It's one of those evenings. Well, I guess you take them in stride. Good night. You know, it seems to me we have some unfinished business. Oh? A cup of coffee, a couple of hours down in Ernie's. When I have some time. You don't always keep your nose in a book, do you? Well, Professor Kingsfield doesn't care about my social life. Well... If it isn't tampering with justice, could I remind you of it sometime? The court will take it under advisement. That's fair enough. Good night. Good night. Where did you put that report? Right where you said. We can. I was just thinking. 800 bucks is a pretty heavy knock. You don't think he'd write us a bad check, do you? We'll just have to wait and see. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Yeah.
Anderson. Okay, come in. I guess I should apologize, huh? You guess? And not only to me. Oh, genuflect to the others tomorrow. Anderson, we needed you tonight. I'm sorry. It's easy enough for you I to said, say. I said I'm sorry. Since we did all Get the off work. my back! Yeah, it's okay. And don't worry about the session. We managed fine. And that is the best you can offer us, Mr. Anderson. When I held you responsible for 15 cases, I did not expect a mere recital of details. I expected opinion, analysis, a complete and thorough presentation. I am sorry, sir. I think I can do better with the rest of them. Please spare us. Your first effort was painful enough. Just a moment, Mr. Anderson. I insist that you fulfill your assignments according to my standards. So, using all of your resources, all of them, Mr. Anderson, from the gray matter suspended between your ears to the hundreds of thousands of volumes in our library, I want you to prepare a brilliant treatise on each of your remaining cases. No less than 10 pages each. Is that quite clear, Mr. Anderson? 10 pages. <clears throat> yes, sir, that's very clear. Yeah, I took math in grade school. How are you going to manage? I'll manage, Ford. How? Anderson, an oral report is one thing, but writing a hundred... I'll manage, Ford, and I'll leave it alone. I got more important things to worry about. More important than Kingsfield? Yeah, believe it or not. The perfectly competent piece of work, Mr. McKinnon, one that I cannot fault for any flagrant technical error. Continue in this fashion, and your father will have a satisfactory, though not particularly brilliant, successor to his respectable business. Thank you, sir. As to your product, Mr. Baker, I have nothing to say, except to note that the Lord moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform. Yes, sir. Good day, gentlemen. Yours, Miss Carlyle. Yes, sir. I would be proud if I had written it myself. I appreciate that more than I can say, Professor Kingsfield. You'll make a brilliant lawyer, Miss Carlyle. A credit to this law school and to me. I hope so, sir. You will. And because of that, I feel entitled to intrude upon your personal affairs. You are a member of an institution known as the Hamilton Society. I'm just a resident at their house. Semantics, Miss Carlyle. You are associated with them. It's completely impersonal, sir. I'm not inquiring to your morals, Miss Carlyle. I'm taking the liberty of questioning your judgment and your sense of values. I don't follow you, sir. And I'll put it more directly. They're riding on your coattails, Miss Carlyle. There's a very simple, basic reason, sir. Money. I don't have any. So my tutoring in exchange for room and board. It's a contract, a matter of reciprocity. You surely understand that. I do. And I find it regrettable. Without you, there would be no Hamilton Society. It would collapse of its own ignorance. And a good riddance that would be. 
Is it the gambling you object to? Yes, I do. I dislike the gambling spirit in anyone. I find it particularly objectionable in a lawyer who is risking not only his own interests, but those of his clients. I find it detestable. Good day, Miss Carlyle. Thank you for your opinion, sir. I'd like to, but I can't. I have a study group meeting. Look at her upset. Why don't you sit down? Sit down. Well, it's not me. It's one of the guys in the study group. I think he has a problem. Anderson? Were you with him last night? Just for a few minutes. He seems like a nice guy, Liz, but I think he's in trouble. What do you mean? Well, he came to see me last night. And I was busy. Instead of going home, he got into a poker game with some of the guys. Oh, so that's where he was, playing poker. And very badly, I'm afraid. How badly? Sorry I'm late. You're supposed to contribute to this group, Anderson. I said I'm sorry for it. Something came up and had a couple of problems. Mm. So have we, but at least they're not of our own making. I'm handling them for it. Handling. How can you possibly handle a debt like that? What do you know about it? Enough. It's eight hundred dollars, Anderson. Eight hundred dollars. Carlyle will tell you that. You don't have that much, Anderson. You're absolutely correct. So you'll be ecstatic to find out that I've written a bad check to cover it. Great. Well, now that you all know the gory details, let's hit the books, huh? Anderson, what are you going to do? I'm working on it. Now, oh, come on, we're just wasting time here. Well, it's our time, too, you know, Anderson. Get off my back, Ford. You have a contract with this study group, and you have broken it. How do you figure that? It's my money, isn't it? But it's our work, our careers. You are letting us down, Anderson. You're unprepared in class. You get these extra assignments that take you away from the work you should be doing here with us. All right, Ford, lay off. And now this money, this bad check. You are in so much trouble, you can't possibly concentrate on the work you have to do with us. Us? Well, that's all you care about, isn't it? What I can do for you. Anderson, that's not what he meant. The study group, Anderson, the group. We work together, share and share alike, the five of us. Well, you just lost yourself one because I've had it. I quit. I'm sure I could pay you back in four, five months. Six months at the most? Okay. Try it again. Push the button. What? Push the button. I want to hear what it sounds like now. Off, off. Turn it off. Ernie, what are you doing? They've got experienced people for this. Technicians. You know what they're getting for it these days, if they show up? Listen, please. I've never asked you before, and you know I'm good for it. Just call it an advance on my salary. 
All right. Try it again. Push the button. Ernie. Ernie, did you hear what I said? I need that money. All right, all right, Hart. How much you say you need? Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, you got change for a thousand? Or any whatever you can. Seven, six, four hundred. You serious? Hey, Hart, come on now. <laughs> what do you think this place is? Gold mine or something? I can give you twenty, thirty bucks, but eight <laughs> hundred. Yeah, okay. Thanks anyway, Ernie. Who is it? It's Ford. You decent? Sure, come on in. How's it going? Well, I'm bearing up. Look, you'll probably speak to Anderson before I will. Give him this. What is it? Make sure he takes it. Don't tell him it came from me. Who had all this money? Yeah. He can buy back his check. Ford, you're terrific. But you know Anderson. He won't take it. You're going to be a great lawyer, aren't you? Plead your case. Third case, Lopez versus Lopez, 1960, Circuit Court of Appeal. Well, you're a classic picture. A 1L with his nose to the grindstone. Professor Kingsfield hasn't lost his touch. Delicate as a sledgehammer. Hey, thanks a lot for telling Logan about my hard luck the other night. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's really not that important. It's not that important. Anderson, I can get your check back for you. What? Well, easy. Uh, no more tutoring and no work on their papers unless... Why? Why not? Wait, let me guess. They're falling in love with you. Has anyone ever told you you're really capable of being obnoxious? Lately, everyone. Listen, we haven't even had that cup of coffee yet. Suddenly, you're willing to go out and win for me. Why? I know the people you're dealing with. If you're going to play with them, you've got to come down to their level. And you're going to end up losing sight of your own. It's happened to me. I understand that. I appreciate it. I mean that. But you're not going to accept it. No. It's my problem. I'll have to handle it my way. Thank you for the offer. And I do mean that. Good luck, Anderson. Hey, McKenna. What are you doing here? Let all you guys at Carlisle do your research for you. Carlisle is floating around somewhere on cloud nine. Hey, listen, um, you got a minute? Right a minute. Do you think I'd be here? I guess not. How'd you like to earn a little extra cash? Look up those three cases for me. Summarize them in about one, two pages. And I'll give you 30 bucks. Listen, make it 800 bucks, you got yourself a deal. Yeah, sure. Seriously, about that $800. Hey, please. I don't want to hear it. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Yes, I do. 
Say, I've seen this look before. It's the, I don't have the money. Could you please give me a little extra time to raise it, look, right? Look, I really don't have the money. You've got till Saturday. Listen, we can make a deal here. I'll give part of it to you now. I'll give the rest of it to you in installments. A little bit every month. What do you say? Installments? We don't uh, work that way at Hamilton House. Look, I'm telling you right now, I won't be able to raise the money in time. You will. What happens if I can't? Anderson, you know the house rules. The check gets cashed. After that, it's your problem. Hey, just relax. You have too much integrity to let a little check bounce, right? Yeah, right. You see, Anderson, we like you. And we know there's no way that you're going to let us down. You're just not that kind of guy. Oh, Anderson, you sure you can't use the extra 30 bucks? Oh, but drop around any time. There's a game every night. Uh, yes, this is Coax from uh, Thomas Anderson. Hi, Dad. How are you? Mom? Well, everything's fine here. Great. Well, yeah, there is one problem. Uh, nothing to worry about, though. Nothing serious. Oh, no, Dad. Uh, it's just... Uh, well, it's just that a lot of work's piled up. No sweat, though. You know me, I'll come through. Now, I just called to see how you and Mom are. Hey, listen, I, I better go. There's a letter coming. Bye, Dad. Well, he has to come back eventually. He's been at the library practically the entire day. Well, it's no wonder. Look how many cases he had to write up. Hey! Come on. Don't ever come in here uninvited. We have to talk to you. And this time you have to listen. Okay, you got two minutes. You only need one. Take this. Buy that bad check back tonight. Listen, I don't need your money. It's not a gift, it's a loan. And you'll have to pay back every cent. Don't you see, I don't have to pay anybody back anything. If I can if just I could get just... into a game and win. That's right. Maybe. Well, what about us, Anderson? What do we win? We put our money on you, on the study group. A bet that we could work together, help each other. And you're undermining us, and we're the ones that are going to end up losing. Just take it. Get yourself together so we can go back to work. Okay. How you doing, Baker? Well, look who's here. Yeah, hey, your favorite patchy. Come on in. You can in here? Yeah, we're all here. Come on. Hey. 
What's that, your favorite spot? Anderson, what are you doing here? Well, you know that limo, man? I'm here to get off. Anderson, how you doing? What'd you do, come back for a little revenge? No, not really. Oh, there's an awful lot of money floating around in there. Anderson. Who knows? This could be your lucky night. I see you brought a little cash. Yeah, but not that much. Every little bit counts. How about it? All it takes is little guts. Maybe just a couple of hands, huh? Just test the water? That's what I like, the good old college spirit. Come on. Hey, this is back. Hey, don't worry. Hey, Anderson. Welcome. Good to see you. Give him some chips. Not much action so far. No cards, no action. X still cold. I'll check. Open it. Cole? I'm out. You're playing them a little close to the vest tonight, aren't you? Just waiting for the cards to play with. Okay. I'll stick. Cards, everybody? Three. How are we doing? We're getting there slowly. Huh? Where's Anderson? We're not doing this for our health, you know? He said he'd be right back. Well, he's got a long night ahead of him copying all this. But he will be here, won't he, Harvey? He better be. He will. I'll open the tent. Call? Call. Anderson. What's it, man? Call your tent. I'll raise you 25. I smell a rat. Really? I'm out. Holding? I'll call. Call? Call. Cards, gentlemen? One. Two. Three. I'll stay with these, thanks. Cold hand, Anderson? You gonna stick around long enough to find out? Uh, <clears throat> opener bets. Openers are good for 25. Typewriter. What? It's a private joke. I'll raise you fifty dollars. Huh. Just do it again. Fifty? Bump you fifty. Then I'll see that fifty. Raise you one tape deck. Hey, come on, will you? I'm sorry. I'll see you fifty. I'll raise you another fifty. Give me out the next couple of hands. I'm gonna take a breather. What are you looking at? Yes? It's me, Tom Anderson. You, what's the expression, tapped out already? Are you kidding? No way. May I come in? There's something I want to say to you. <clears throat> Planning a little trip? Leaving. 
That's great. I never liked the idea of you living here anyway. I had a contract. Breaking on the grounds of what? Morality. I just don't like the lifestyle around here. I don't like what it does to people. Does that include me? There was something you wanted to tell me. Yes, there is. Something I wanted you to know. I said I'd handle this thing by myself, and I am. You're winning. Damn right I am. No, you're not. You're losing. You've lost. The minute you walked back into that game, you surrendered. Surrendered? I have a stack of chips down there enough to choke a horse. And you'll give them all back. Can't you see? You're not playing for the money now. Now you're playing because you're afraid. I'm afraid? That's right. You are scared to death that you may not measure up. You may not have the guts. It's combat, Anderson. It's not a card table to you anymore. Now it's a battlefield. We've met the enemy, and they are us. Why don't you just get off your high horse, huh? What are you doing in this school, anyway? You don't want to be a lawyer. You don't want to deal with the facts. You want to play games and take chances. When you leave here, you'll be gambling with people's lives, and you'll all lose. You don't pull your punches, do you, lady? You gonna go back down there? I've got to go back down there. Dealer three of clubs, queen bets. Twenty dollars. Ooh. Call. Well, I see you twenty and above the twenty. What you got? McKinnon. I'll stick with you. Twenty and twenty. Call. 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 Coming out. Another queen. Okay, big jack. Uh. Trey. here hours ago. You know what I'm thinking? Same thing I'm thinking. No. He wouldn't do that to us. Not after all we've done for him. Hart? No. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Where have you been, Anderson? You know where I've been. The Hamilton Society. Well, it took you long enough to run a simple errand. I know, and I'm sorry about that. But I had a few things to straighten out. But I brought you back a souvenir. One check for $800. Terrific. And $400 in cash. Half of what I owe. Who do I owe it to? To me. Four. You'll get the rest of it back. Maybe a dollar down and a dollar a week, but you're going to get every penny of it back. You won this money. Yeah, that's right. How dare you gamble with my money? But I couldn't help myself. I couldn't resist it. I tried to, but for it, I won. Anderson, I don't care about the money. I'm not talking about the money. Boy, I was on a winning streak. I was halfway there. I could have won it all back. But something happened. I don't know. But I had to quit. Playing with your money was wrong. And I suddenly knew it. I've done a lot of things wrong here lately, and I know that too. Ford, I'm sorry. And that's an apology to every one of you. I had a contract with you, and I dropped the option. Are you going to let me back? What do you say, Ford? We've got a lot of work to do. I'll make some sandwiches. 
I'm going to put on some coffee. Yeah, make it strong. All right, make it very strong, huh? So, we will forego any further discussion of today's assignments and devote the last moments of this class to Mr. Anderson's submission, 140 pages. Exactly. I've read each one, and I'm pleased to say it's a very commendable piece of work. Indeed, it's a most unusual piece of work. The style, the sentence structure, the word patterns, they vary entirely case to case. Now, would you care to comment, uh, Mr. Anderson? Yes, sir. I had help. I copied the work of the... of some of my friends. But as I recall, this was your assignment, Mr. Anderson. Yours alone. Yes, sir, that is true. And how do you explain... If I may finish my point, please. To the point, sir. I sincerely hope so, Mr. Ford. Very well. Sir, in your instructions to Mr. Anderson, you used the phrase, quote, using all your resources, end quote and gave as examples his gray matter and the books in the library. Well, sir, I submit that since Mr. Anderson is a member of our study group, we are also his resources and can be used in the manner you described. Your point is well taken. Mr. Ford? Dismissed. The first years are hard years, much more than we know. With good friends to love us, we'll build every road. Stay open to all things.